May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings be free from harm. May all beings love life. May all beings awaken. Welcome to another audio podcast. And brief memories. I pray that you and yours are safe and comfortable, free from economic hardship, and able to get out and do whatever it is you want within the limitations of the universal precept of do as little harm as possible. So um, today, I only have a minute. My wife's going to start doing yoga over there. And I couldn't do this uh, yesterday, uh, but it's still yesterday where most people are, uh, even though I'm in today where I am in Sanur. Um I was working with a friend who's a recording engineer, uh, setting up stuff in the new studio with a new Mac, uh, Mac Airbook uh, with the M1 chip that a kind patron bought for me. So anyway, um, I'm going to read you an exchange that happened uh, at a lecture that um, I witnessed. So it is a sort of memory, but I've got it down straight from the recording of the lecture. It was at Tassajara, 1970, June 20th. And a student said, now in the Diamond Sutra, it says that if you're suffering misfortunes in this life, it is because of sins or mistakes you committed in past lives, and that by suffering these misfortunes now, you will work out these mistakes or make retribution for them, you know, atone. Atone for these mistakes or sins and open the way for enlightenment. I don't, it seems like a very heavy load when I read it, you know. I didn't understand it. I didn't, it added a new dimension, student laughs. To my problem, everybody laughs. Suzuki said, It will help, you know, because that you suffer now means not because someone make you suffer, but you caused your suffering. So that is why you suffer. If you understand that way, you have no complaint. And at the same time, we say if you understand only in that way, you understand your life just from the viewpoint of suffering or karma. So that's a dualistic way to see why we should suffer. What should we do? He gestures. This is to be caught by the idea of karma. Hmm. You get the point, huh? That's cool. The student asked... Um, Suzuki, uh, that, you know, um, in this life we work out our problems uh, that were created in past lives. Uh, uh, you agree with that? He said sins or mistakes. Sins are just mistakes. I mean, that's what the word goes back to. Uh, but it means like serious mistakes, like greed, hate, and delusion, that sort of thing. And... Um, so he said, yeah, if you only see it that way, that's a dualistic way of seeing it. And then that's seeing it, that's being caught by the idea of karma. So I leave you, dear listener, with the question that I will be asking myself, well, what's the other side? <laughs> what's another way to see that? are to see life if we're not looking at it as karmic. And karma, I mean, karma is definitely a central part of Buddhism. It's cause and effect. And Suzuki said, you know, I mean, Suzuki was into karma. But, you know, a superficial or mechanistic understanding of karma will not serve you. Uh, to me, it's just one of the mysteries. But I, I definitely believe in cause and effect. But I think it's a total waste of time to sit around and try to figure out, what did I do in a past life to justify this? My mother did that, incidentally. 
Uh, when my father died, she was really into reincarnation, and she was going, what have I done? Well, actually, she got into reincarnation thinking, what have I done to deserve this? Uh, she was really huh, devastated when my father died. My, I was 11. Uh, but she recovered quite well. She really got into reincarnation, Edgar Casey, all sorts of interesting things. And I met all sorts of neat people through her, and she became wiser and wiser. She got older, and you know she died, what, eight years ago at the age of 98 and a half? So here's the yoga people coming. Thanks uh, for joining me. <laughs> I'm DC. And this has been another Gook Audio Podcast. Coming to you from Sleepy Senor with Doggett Bandita, Feline Cuchita, and Dear Lovely Katrinka. And we're wishing you and yours and all of us a grand awakening. Mm-hmm.